Turn the page with your life every day. Don't let anybody get started. Show today that is a about two and a half pound chuck roast. We got two onions that are roughly chopped, and about six cloves of garlic, salt, pepper, some other seasoning, some beef broth. Mike Foster here. It's the morning. It's perfect time for slow cook. It's time. It's slow cook season coming up. Crock pot. This is a slow cook beef that's going to be delicious and very simple to make. You set it and you forget it. And also, it's going to be used in a bunch of other ways in uh, future videos. Nothing to it but to do it. Let's put this bad boy together. All right, we're going to start by just putting half the onions and half the garlic down. Check it out. Then we put the, the chuck roast down on top. Now we're going to season this baby in salt, lots of pepper, parsley, some basil, just a little garlic powder. <laughs> you know what? The rest of those onions. You know it, the rest of that garlic. Oh, oh boy, I'm getting excited. All right, that's that simple to make. Now you take this broth, and you put the broth around the, just around the outer portion so those onions can stay on top there. This is a cup and a half of broth. I hate to tell you guys, but that's it. Then you set it, cover it, and set it and forget it. I'm gonna cook this on high, and I'm gonna check it in about three, four hours. I'll see you then. It's that easy. All right, let's check this. It's been three hours. Three hours already. No, it looks pretty good. How's the meat doing? Yeah, still, still needs probably another two, three hours at least. Here's those onions in that stock. This string here that I'm going to take off that kept, the, that kept that chuck roast together. This is three hours. I'm going to check it again in two hours, and we'll see you then. I can't wait. All right, this has been another hour. This is a total of five hours so far so I don't think it's ready yet because it should go about six or so and it should be we should be able to take and start shredding it but boy is it getting close look at that I'm gonna give this guy a little flipperoo watch this oh yeah I'm thinking the next hour next time I check this we're gonna be ready for some slow cooked shredded beef you could tell look at that's that's just that <laughs> Almost ready. Guess what? We're going to take a little bite. See it in one more hour. Okay, we're a little past six hours. I've shut it off. This baby is ready. What you do now is you just take two forks and just pull it apart. This is pull apart tender. Oh, wow. And you pull the whole thing apart. Let it sit in its juices until it's cooled. If you want to store it, but if you want to have a taste test, once I'm done pulling this apart, I'll meet you at the counter. And I'll see how this baby tastes. See you then. There is the finished product. The slow cook pulled beef. Can't wait to try this and try a bunch of recipes with it. Big taste is coming up. All right, there it is. Let's try a bite. Ooh, it's a little hot. Ooh. Oh, inexpensive cut of beef. This was a chuck roast. You could use brisket. Oh, that's really good. Simple. Garlic, onion, salt, pepper. I put a little basil and parsley in there. Simple. Little, little beef stock. Mm. It's delicious. Everything works. And it's going to be great in a taco. I'm going to make a taco. I'm going to make a, make a bunch of recipes for more videos like this. Check out Live Life 365. I <laughs> And my Live Life 365 YouTube channel by the same name. Till next time. Keep living life. 365. Peace. Live life. 365. That is the sweet little baby baboon, and I am out of here. Oh, one more. Uh, no. oh. Oh.
peace out.